Hey, good morning. Uh, we're going to do this uh, piece of snow. This is a uh, this is at Marini Farms in Ipswich, and it's what I like about it is the way the light is hitting the snow bank and those beautiful warm trees in the background. So uh, I'm going to start kind of in an unusual way. I'm going to put the uh, the shadows on the snow bank here. This is just. Uh, you know, ultramarine blue with a touch of rose. And then the whole front here is, uh, it's the same color and I added a little bit of uh, phthalo blue to it. This is gonna get much darker in the front, so. All right, this is a piece of pond. It's a piece of water, so. It's ultramarine and rose and a little tiny touch of raw sienna to gray it down. So that's a piece of frozen water. Watch, don't let those two come together there. Okay, so you get the water. All right, we're going to put the cloud in. It's just the gray, same colors, a little darker. Ultramarine, rose, and raw sienna. And I add a little bit of cobalt blue here and there too. And a little touch of phthalo blue just to get some variation in the clouds. All right, and then a little darker. Once that first wash settled, I put a little, a little darker color. It's a big foreboding cloud hanging over the whole thing here. Okay. And I painted around that group of trees, as you can see, so. All right, this is just a combination of uh, cobalt blue with a little touch of phthalo blue. This is the sky. Stay away from that dark cloud now. Just keep a nice white edge on that. And that'll work. That should work pretty fine. All right. All right, here's the trees now. The trees on the left are very dark. And I'm, what I'm doing here is painting the base of all the trees. This is ultramarine with quinacridone gold. It gives you this nice warm green. So that's the base of all the trees. Now I'm using uh, the gold here uh, to do the rest of the trees. Now I'm rub what I'm rubbing out there is the line between the light the warm and the dark there. You don't want that edge, so try to rub it out. Uh, we'll paint out what, what, whatever we don't rub out. We'll paint out later on. Okay. So the back side of those trees are a little darker. So I'm just adding a little darker color. You can see how that gold came down very nicely over the dark. And take a towel and just pat out a little bit of texture in the trees. We'll go into that a few times. All right, this is the grass. There's some beautiful golden grass at the base of that uh, cluster of trees there. So putting that in, it's just using the same colors. A little tiny touch of quinciana to warm it up a little bit, but. Essentially, it's just the same colors. So there's a bunch of grass, as you can see, right under all those, that little section of trees. And I'm just sort of painting that in randomly. You can see that's much warmer. So I add a little bit of Ross uh, quinacridone sienna there to warm it up. It's going up on that incline. So the sun's hitting it, that's why it's so much brighter, you know. I'm using a dark to just paint in the, at the bottom edge of those grasses. Okay, coming down the hill. All right, I'm using a credit card here, and what I'm doing is scraping up uh, the trees the light trees, so all that stuff was still damp. Just using the corner of the credit card, scraping those out. 
shaping out some branches just pulling the, the darks and the lights pull them right down into where the grasses are now I'm using my uh, my brush to just paint the, the bottom of those trees just doing some shaping there and on the top you can see some some darker trees peek, peek, peeking out there this is scumbling very dry brush it's just a damp brush and I'm just picking up a little bit of that gold and rubbing it around and shaping the trees. Okay, there's some darker uh, spruce trees in the back uh, with the tops peeking out, so putting those in. All right, all right, picking up a little bit of gold, darker, and just doing some more shaping here. You know, the light's not getting uh, underneath. And I'm using it to warm up that whole section. You know, where I padded it with the towel, it leaves it, uh, leaves it too light. So you want to go back in with some color. All right, I'm taking uh, same color, just the gold. Uh, you could vary this light and dark, and in some cases use the quinacridone sienna to keep it warm. So I'm just touching the edge of the lake there. Oh, it's not a lake, but that pond. I'm just where the land is, is peeking through. And then you have some grasses going up the incline. Okay, that whole edge is just peeking through with some uh, piece of the earth. Okay, and you have these grasses. And a lot of this painting is just working these two edges of, of that pond. Okay, the far end, the far edge that I'm doing right now is warm. The close edge is very dark. This is just piece of the earth sticking out on the edge all along there. And there's some grass in there. We're gonna we're gonna go back and put in the higher grass, but just the whole edge is very dark. You know, just add a little ultramarine, a little quinciana. Here you go, just shape it, you know. There's some taller grasses on the edge. All along the edge, you keep working both sides. This side is much darker, it's in the shade. We're gonna make all this snow much darker in the front here. All right, all right there's, a, there's a cluster of grass behind the little mound of snow here. So that's what I'm putting in now. Uh, that's a little quinciana and just pushing it up. So it's reading as grass, okay? Right, we have a darker little, little bush sticking out here. Ultramarine. They added a little bit of uh, the gold into the ultramarine. <clears throat> Get that green. Just a tiny little bush sticking out. Little one beside it. And then the little one on the right hand side here. Right in the center of that pond, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's melting. So a little bit of the water is peeking through. Just use the darker blue to go through that. And I'm gonna put another wash on the, on the foreground here. It's just uh, ultramarine and a little touch of rose. All right, we'll go back. There's a warm bush behind that spruce tree. A little quinciana. The sun is hitting it, so it's nice and bright. All right, more grass on this side.
another wash of thalo blue on the front here that'll really separate it from the water so all right you can see it's looking good nice so the rest is just going back and you know going up and working sort of shaping you know I'm working that uh, spruce tree in the back but the rest is just shaping you know with, with darker colors getting some more the shape of the trees okay all right I hope you enjoyed this uh, I, I really I love the way the Sun was hitting that foreground and thank you so much uh, for joining me I appreciate it please subscribe if you haven't thank you so much and I will see you again very soon keep painting and be safe